Yes, I'm touching bear poo. <laughs> Gross. About two miles north of the Flag Ranch area is this unmarked turnoff behind me that is only a couple hundred yards or meters just uh, south of the famous Yellowstone sign at the south entrance to Yellowstone is a little unmarked roadway. And this unmarked roadway takes you to the Flag Canyon Trail. This little known trail follows the river that, uh, oops, sorry, that pops out at the south entrance. And it comes along this unmarked road, other than it says picnic area river access, Wyoming fishing license required. And it takes you on the Flag Ranch hike. This very pleasant hike is super easy. It's one of the hikes featured in my Jackson Hole hiking guide. It has easy, medium, strenuous, and extremely strenuous hikes. But what I'm going to do in this video is take you on the hike, show you a little bit of what it's like, explain a few of the features, and help you enjoy this experience because it's uh, mid-October right now. It's pretty chilly. It's about 40 degrees, maybe, I don't know, 5 or 6 degrees Celsius. And yeah, it's uh, not a lot of people out here. Hopefully I don't run into bears, but chances are I will see bear sign and uh, potentially scat on the trail. So it's something I was going to watch for. Make lots of noise. Hello, bears! Clap and, you know, yak yak. So I'm going to show you what this is like and take you on this little hike. That little side picnic road here leads to the South Gate boat launch. You can see the old log ramp where uh, the river is not exactly high enough to be launching a boat right there. But you park just up above this area, hike right down to here, just uh, like 100 feet, about 33 meters. And then you come to the trailhead, which is simply marked as Flag Canyon Trail and Flag Ranch. There aren't any mile markers or anything on this because it's, even though it's a sign trail here, it's not uh, really well known. But it's one of the ones I feature in my Jackson Hole hiking guide. That way it gets you out of the crowds and gets you a different experience. The Flag Ranch Canyon is a real beautiful area. You'll see that in a minute in the video. So it's a, quite a fun hike and well worth it. And this is an easy hike. So let's go along and check it out. There are old bear marks on this tree. And then this is a commonly trafficked area for bears. As the trail gains and loses a bit of elevation, you eventually come to this overlook point. You'll see the rock just as you're able to see into the canyon. That is a long way down there. It is definitely a canyon carved out by this river flowing out of Yellowstone. Kind of makes me a little... <laughs> Especially because I'm leaning backwards. The hike is pretty easy. I would actually rate this, even though I said it's easy, the total energy required is probably a lightly moderate hike. So if you're looking for completely flat, this isn't the hike for you. But if you're looking for a little bit of terrain and some easy secret views, this is a winner. And as you can see here on this lodge pole, there are bear scratching marks telling you that as you're walking along the trail here toward Flag Canyon, that you want to make plenty of noise because that's the bears telling you to watch out for them because you don't stand a chance against them. The best you've got is bear spray. You don't, of course, have to use it. It's much better to let the bear know you're here well in advance. I always fantasize about a marching band with crashing cymbals and drums. Uh, that would be really nice. But things like this. You can see the sawdust here and the tree that was cut that was blocking the trail. Meaning this is a maintained trail by Either the Park Service or the Forest Service. And just to show you how far down this is. Ugh.
This is the best view of the canyon. It's uh, pretty spectacular actually. A little breezy, windy, rainy, snowy at the moment, but it's part of the experience. It's pretty fun. It's a little scary to stand on this crumbly edge here. And you can see the rest of the canyon here that the trail goes along. Pretty wild. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that looks exciting. Standing on an overcut or undercut. <laughs> Wouldn't want to stand on that rock there. Woo! Check out that canyon, that's sweet. You can see the edge of the canyon here. Don't get near it, it's overhanging. You can see this rock breaking away. Ooh. But just uh, come around and I'll show you here. You can see what that edge looks like. It's been torn off, but the trail runs right here. So near the, almost the center of the trail, you get a great view. We will use this rock to measure the time of how deep this canyon is. I'm going to throw it straight out, arc, and by the superposition principle, we'll be able to measure the time. Okay, ready? And throw! By throwing that rock in the canyon, I was able to figure out the time, and time, <laughs> the height of the canyon should be right here. Pretty cool! Even though part of the trail goes through a burned area, you can see that the little pine trees, the lodge poles, are beginning to come up. And in not too many years from now, these little guys will grow up and be as tall as their parents. After a relatively short hike of just over a mile or so, about two kilometers, come to the junction at Pole Cat. Creek Loop Trail, say that three times as fast, Flag Ranch Parking Area, and the Flag Ranch Canyon Trail, and the National Park. This is a great juncture because right back there is a turnout, so you can create a short loop, come to here, only see the canyon, go back, or go all the way over to the bridge over Snake River. I think it's Snake River, yeah, over, over the river, sorry. So there are lots of options on this particular trail for you to enjoy. Featured in my Jackson Hole hiking guide, check out links below in the description. More grizzly marks. Here's my finger. That thing just clawed it right up. Oh, oh boy. Nothing like hiking out in grizzly territory. Looks like there are, are a couple of very good fishing spots along Flag Canyon. That definitely looks like it's got potential for resting fish to get in out of the fast stream. Whoa. And this is on the south section of Flag Canyon, all featured in my Jackson Hole hiking guide. I definitely say that's a grizzly track. Four paw here, fingers, claws. Definitely make a lot of noise on this trail. And should the claw marks on the trail and the claw marks on the tree not convince you there are bears on this trail? Just to make this trail exciting, bear poo. Yes, I'm touching bear poo. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, that's pretty much what bear poo looks like. They pretty much eat everything. Yeah. It's not warm. No, it's good and cold. Thank goodness. It's dry. Yeah, so it's touching bear poo, but uh, I want to see where it's been. See. Bear poo. Yeah. Still, still wet, but it's not warm. <laughs> 
it was warm, I'd be crying right now. You can see the trail here on the southern end of the Flag Canyon Trail. Goes right up to the north side of the bridge. There's the Junction Creek. There's a creek that comes out of Yellowstone. They merge and go on. Of course, I'll show you in a moment. Here we go. Water from Yellowstone. They merge together. You can even see an angler there. I hope you enjoyed my short hike of Flag Canyon. This northernmost hike in the Jackson Hole region is short, but it has a canyon that not many people know about. Even when I went into the north entrance of Grand Teton, the ranger didn't even know there was a trail on the canyon, so that was actually pretty interesting. The hike is short. I would say it's a little bit moderate. You won't see a lot of people, hardly at all. Do be aware that there are bears there. I found bear scatters you saw, claw marks, rah, the whole thing. So it's uh, something to be aware of. But boy, what a beautiful little hike that's lightly drafted compared to some of the other trails in Grand Teton. Check out in the description below links to my book, Jackson Hole Hiking Guide, the best hike guide for the entire region, as well as my other books, Antarctic Tears, Lost in Windy Corner, Adventure Expedition 1, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, the, the, not, was it the Critical Knot Book, and the Hiking Guide, of course, as well, my 2024 Total Eclipse Guides, and my show, Antarctic Tears, and Lost in Windy Corner, oh, no, not Lost in Windy Corner, World Beyond. <laughs> it's raining in my face, so I'm having trouble doing my lines. Hope you've enjoyed this hike. Please like and comment on the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and be safe out there.